All right, welcome back everybody. Death Beach here, special presentation for you on NFTs in the music space, hopefully answering some of the burning questions everybody has and giving you some of the resources that you need to really understand this. Now at the end of my video, I will show you a plan for how I see NFTs being incorporated into the plan of an actual artist or producer, whatever your, your kind of flavor is. Now, the NFTs are just a tool to use within your repertoire. They're not the silver bullet to kind of launch your career or make you rich. And please share this video because the more we get this information out there, the more people learn about this, the more everybody's talking about it, and the more we all benefit. If this sounds interesting to you, please go ahead and smash like, smash subscribe, smash the bell. Without further ado, let me jump into the presentation. NFTs in music. Some key ideas we're gonna talk about here. We're gonna define what an NFT is, its usage, show them in action, how to mint them, which means create them, platforms that we can do this on and sell them on. And also we're going to talk about how to win with NFTs at the very end of this. About a bag. What is an NFT? Well, an NFT is a non-fungible token. So everybody wants to know this and it's so not important, but fungible means replaceable by another identical item. So think of a dollar bill. We can make as many dollar bills as we want now and they're completely interchangeable and they have uh, the same value. So non-fungible would mean that it's unique, rare, and not replaceable. NFTs can represent uh, real and virtual world assets such as art, real estate, fashion, think shoes, purses, Louis Vuitton, supply chain, and collectibles. Yay. So some usages. Well, we can verify ownership. We can verify authenticity. So think of uh, an artist's signature on a painting that shows that it was created by this artist and that the painting is an actual original. We can track assets on the blockchain. We can do video game assets that are interoperable, meaning we could have some money that we've earned in one video game and take it to a completely different platform and use it inside of uh, that, that game. We can grant access to a website. We can uh, use NFTs as concert tickets. Again, access. And NFTs are blowing up right now because people are realizing that you can merge different ideas and different mediums together in a unique way and monetize. So we can merge audio. We can merge visual. We can offer royalties or rewards. Uh, Euler Beats using mathematics to, to create itself. We can do this in the form of a game. And the NFTs offer durability and scarcity like we've never known before. Some of these assets will live forever on the blockchain. They're not dependent on a platform. This is huge. That means their value will always be there. Okay, moving on. So, NFT uses. We can make an NFT for an image or a video. We can also put music to these. We can make an NFT for a single or a whole album. So you could have, you could sell the album as a collection of songs and that's one type of NFT and perhaps that one is very rare. And then you have NFTs for some limited edition singles or limited edition versions of songs that are already out on Spotify. The NFTs can contain hidden files, so whenever a song reaches a million streams, a remix of it is released to the holders of the NFTs. The NFT can grant somebody membership to a website or a group. We can use NFTs for virtual and live shows and grant people backstage access to these shows, simply scanning their phone. We can uh, use NFTs on samples to verify that the sample is indeed a sample made by a certain producer, or you can later sell that sample pack to somebody and verify that you are the owner of it and that it is authentic samples that you're, you're passing on. We can do this with our beats. We can create NFTs that we can interact with and take selfies with. 
and reward systems built in for owners of the NFT. And this can come in, say, the form of music royalties that we're giving them with the NFT. Now, minting and platforms. So there's a few different platforms right now, and it's important to note that we do not have a music-specific platform just yet. So we have Wax, who has done a collaboration with Deadmau5. We have Rarible and OpenSea, very art heavy. Uh, and we have Terra Virtua, I'm just skipping over Super Farm real quick. We have Terra Virtua, which does more collectible type stuff. Think uh, video game memorabilia, or I'm sorry, movie memorabilia. And maybe perhaps some video game stuff, but they're real big in movies right now. So they're doing a Top Gun set, a set for The Godfather. And Super Farm will be a platform where uh, they're going to help with the trading of NFTs. Uh, it's going to be a big one. NFTs right now are mostly built on the Ethereum network and soon they may appear on other blockchains. Uh, they already do appear on VeChain and VeChain is concerned with supply chain. I think Polkadot uh, NFTs are going to be really big and Flow I put here because Warner Music Group will be building on Flow and they haven't announced anything yet but I imagine they will be doing NFTs all day long. So all these sites do have their own wallets. Uh, of course, I recommend MetaMask as just a generalized wallet. A lot of sites work with it. You can log into websites with your MetaMask wallet and you log in completely anonymous at that point. You're just a wallet address. Now, these sites do have their own wallets and you do have to send Ethereum to those wallets in order to purchase NFTs. Uh, and in the case of minting an NFT and posting it in their store, I do believe that there's a fee attached to that. And currently, like I said, the gas fees are really high. Just sit tight on that. Like, seriously? My plan for how to win with NFTs. Listen, you have to have a standard artist plan in line. Like, you need a timeline. You need an email list. Uh, your look, feel, and sound need to be consistent. You need to know where your fans are and the platforms that you really want to be on. Understand what an active versus passive platform is. Uh, bonus right here, Spotify is a passive platform where people just listen to songs. They're not very likely to interact with your song, although Spotify is doing a lot of stuff currently to make their platform more social media-esque. We'll see. Uh, you also need to have your website. Like, where are you directing people from Instagram and from all these other places? Like, sending them to Bandcamp, that ain't the solution. They need to be on your website. Like, period. You know, what's going on with your content? Do you have ideas for design? Do you have a content plan? A calendar? If you have none of this stuff, an NFT is not going to help you. It's, it's going to slow you down and possibly ruin things for you. And what are you planning for performance? You know, real life performances? When, when, when is this going to happen? When is touring really back? And beyond that, listen, The weekend is touring in 2022. He sold a million tickets. And that's amazing, except that we're doing these Fortnite concerts where Travis Scott's, I think, playing for like 30 million people in one night. There's no comparison, really. Now... As you can see on my list here, uh, we see NFTs beginning to fit a little bit more into the picture. And uh, lastly, you need to be familiar with the future here, blockchain and licensing, uh, using smart, smart contracts for licensing, and what some of the newer blockchain for, uh, platforms are that you should be on, such as Audius or possibly uh, Versebooks was one that somebody shared with the channel. Uh, definitely check it out. But these are things that you need to be looking at. And I would get all these things in line with an artist that I was producing in order to take advantage of the NFTs. In fact, on this list, I don't even have art director. Like, you should be working with somebody uh, as an art director. If you're going to be doing an NFT, there's obviously going to be some sort of visual aspect to it. And it's, it's probably going to be a really big aspect to your NFT to get attention to it. So I don't want to make this video too long. Again, if you can like, subscribe, hit the bell button, share this video, all that fun stuff. Uh, feedback in the comments down below. And again, we are super early in this industry. So there are lots of questions and there is need for solutions. 
out there. There are still holes in what's going on, and we are all making this up as we go along, which I guess we're doing anyway with life. But I think you get what I'm saying. Uh, again, thanks for watching. See you again soon.